Synthy Flow Motion allows you to control effect parameters or just the volume of a synth with device motion. And the very nice thing about this is that it's really easy to set up with the new Audio Bus system. It actually just works. I'm gonna add MIDI Flow Motion to a sender slot in Audio Bus and as a sound app I'll use AnyMOOC. When I switch to the app, you'll see that the position of the device is visualized. You can make some adjustments, for example, which parameter you want to control. The default is volume. You can also limit the range in which this parameter is controlled. The full range would mean that you have to move the device from one end to the other, which is 180 degrees, in order to get the volume from zero to full. With this button on the left, you can lock the screen orientation so that the UI doesn't rotate around while you move the device. Let's see if the volume control works, so I switch to AnyMOOC. And already now you can see that the volume knob here is turning as I move the device, so this is already working. Now I want to control a different parameter, like frequency. In order to do that, I first have to find out which MIDI control change number is assigned to this parameter in AnyMOOC. To do that, I go to the setup and click map CCs. Now you can see that volume has assigned the number 7 to it, which is the default for volume. Frequency has nothing assigned yet, so I'm gonna click on it and set it to 14. And I quit this mode. So far nothing has changed. MIDI Flow Motion is still controlling the volume, so I go back and change the output controller to number 14. I'll go back to AnyMOOC and now I'm controlling the frequency parameter. Now I can insert MIDI Flow Motion multiple times in Audio Bus to control multiple parameters at the same time. So I'll set up a second pipeline that looks exactly the same as the first one. Then I can see that MIDI Flow Motion shows two instances at the bottom. Those two instances work independently and can have different settings. The new instance has already set volume as output controller, but I want to change the axis to X. That way the Y axis will still control the frequency parameter as before and the X axis will control the volume. I switch to AnyMOOC and you can see that this works. example, I can control the XY pad with motion. For that, I'll change the second output parameter in MIDI Flow Motion to something else than 7, let's say 15. Then I have to assign these control change numbers to the XY pad. Ok, this works so far, but the x-axis needs to be inverted. And now this works pretty well. There are many more options in MIDI Flow Motion for playing around with. For example, you can send many more commands than control changes, like notes even. So there's a lot to explore. So much for that. Now, if you are as excited as I am about the new AudioBus 3 and MIDI, don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow MIDIFlow on twitter.com slash MIDIFlow or facebook.com slash MIDIFlowApp. There's even more stuff coming. See you next time.